my parents were asking me to take up an instrument. I was always like, oh, hell no. But I did think that ballet was super cool. And then I recall finding certain magazines that my dad had as a teenager. My subject matter sort of changed from, uh, you know, landscapes just to literally just drawing butts. And then when I was 14, something happened that changed everything. Hello everybody and welcome to today's episode. Now, I know what you're thinking. George, you're wearing the exact same outfit as the previous video. Tell me why. Well, the truth is I'm filming them both on the same day because I'm leaving for a few weeks. Well, not a few weeks, 10 days, but I still wanted to have a video for you guys to check out. So yes, I'm filming them both on the same day, but let's pretend it's a new day. Just pretend. So today we're gonna take a trip down memory lane and talk about the bug. I wanted to talk a little bit about how I got the music bug. And uh, I think it is very important to have a bug. It doesn't have to be music, it can be anything. Painting, martial arts, rock climbing, you name it. I think life is all the richer for it. So I've had a plethora of bugs over, over, over the years. And the fun fact is that, uh, you know, my, my parents were desperately asking me to take up an instrument from a young age. You know, they never forced it on me, but they would always ask, you know, why don't you start, you know, playing the guitar or piano or whatever. And I was always like, oh, hell no. So when I was younger, uh, I thought playing the guitar was really uncool, but I did think that ballet was super cool. So I was actually uh, an avid ballerino. Ballerino? What's the male ballerina? Ballerino? Let's let's call it ballerino. So I used to be into uh, into ballet and drawing. I used to want to be a, a, an artist, a, a painter. So I used to uh, draw, I used to like to copy a lot of nature stuff, Vincent van Gogh kind of stuff. And then uh, I recall uh, finding certain magazines that my dad had as a teenager. And I think I was about eight or nine at that time. And then my, uh, my subject matter sort of changed from, uh, you know, landscapes just to literally just drawing butts. I, I, think, I think I had a, I think I spent a summer when I was about eight, nine years old just drawing butts, which uh, I, <laughs> was kind of a, a curious thing. And then when I was 14, something happened that changed everything. And I remember this moment as if it was yesterday, really. It, it, was, it was summer and I was passing outside my, my, my friend's house you know, in Greece we have hot summers, so his balcony doors were, were open, and he was playing the SM record by Metallica, the first one, uh, with San Francisco uh, Orchestra and the amazing uh, arrangements by uh, Michael Kamen, you know, unbelievable. And uh, the song that came on was Wherever I May Roam, and that version is is pure, is pure, uh, just pure fairy tale. I mean, it, it starts. As if, as if something very serious is about to happen. So it's I think there's some sitar going in. And I remember hearing this and I just stopped. And I was like, ooh. And it was almost like I couldn't help it. I had to, something happened. I don't know what it is, but like there was a little heart string was like ding ding. I was like, ooh. And then I remember the song comes in. And, and that was it. I was just, I was just hooked. It, it, it felt almost as if, as if I had discovered the world's greatest secret. And I, I just knocked on his door, I'm like, what is this? And then he, um, he had a friend from, from Athens, kind of older guy, cool guy, who used to give him like rock and metal records. And he said, oh, is this, this CD, take it. And I, I took it home. I uh, put it on, on, a, on a CD player, or I think it was CD player or stereo that was there. And, and, and that was it. And then fast forward a year later, you know, I, I started really feeling the, 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 the pull to, to want to play some of those songs. And I had spent basically much of the time between I was 14 and 15, like air guitaring to like mops or brooms or whatever. And I was like, you know what? This is kind of embarrassing. Like, why am I pretending? Just pretend. I can just like start learning uh, guitar. I went to my to my folks and I said, you know what, like I wanna I wanna learn the guitar. Surely enough, when I was 15 years old, I think 15 and a half or something at uh, Christmas, and an Epiphone was there under the tree. Uh, it, it was just the beginning of, of an unbelievable uh, journey, uh, which still carries on. 
And you know, this this bug really feels like a um, like a gift because um, at least to me, it is it is one of the better tools that I have to externalize what's in here and in here uh, with the world and do it in a way that reflects me as a person. And also, you know, it is. I mean, music is just such a great uh, accompanist to every moment of our life, from the lowest of the lowest. <laughs> the highest of the heights Got a nice it just enriches the moment if you if you have a song that you feel captures a moment in my view at least it, it it just adds more to that moment and it means that when you go back to the song you can relieve that moment when I go back to that to that wherever I may roam the SNM version I just I, I'm I just takes me right back there and and it is just beautiful you know one of my one of my dreams is to really meet Metallica and just 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 thank them for that for different people it's a different artist but for me it was it was it was really the the, the band that got me into music in general not just metal like I started getting interested in music because of Metallica so uh Guys, if I might meet you, I might not, you might watch this, you probably won't, but uh, thank you very much. I'd be really intrigued to know how you got the bug, so please let me know in the comments, um, and hopefully we can start a, a, an interesting conversation going, and uh, yeah, uh, there's links to my e everything, music, um, concert films, merch in the description, so you can go there and uh, help contribute to my Bitcoin fund, and uh, yeah, that's it, I'll see you, I'll see you next week, cheers.